So diffuse large piece of lymphoma in most cases is cured with first line therapy, but approximately one third of patients fail first line therapy. And for these patients, it's a particularly challenging area because our current standard salvage therapies only will rescue about a quarter of patients. So approximately half of the patients won't even respond to salvage induction. You'll only get half of them to a transplant, and then another half of them will relapse within two years of the transplant. So this is a really challenging area for clinicians and patients trying to improve on the salvage strategies that we have. And whilst we've got a number of different conventional chemotherapy agents, which we've been combining different combinations for many years now, we've probably reached the maximum in terms of what we can achieve with conventional chemotherapy agents alone. Fortunately, there is now a raft of novel agents that have been introduced in B-cell lymphomas, ranging from small molecule inhibitors of the B-cell receptor, the ibrutinibs, the idelalisibs, BCL2 inhibitors like venetoclax, other disease-modifying uh, agents, lenalidomide. Um, all of these drugs are offering exciting new ways of working against the lymphoma. In addition to that, we have a whole variety of new immunoconjugates that we can look at. These are shown to be excellent targeted therapies, and there's now emerging data suggesting that some of these uh, immune-based therapies are also uh, in pro producing impressive response rates in the salvage setting. And then there's a third category of salvage therapy that is uh, making a very big splash in the scientific and clinical community, and that's the uh, subject of CAR T-cell therapy, so chimeric antigen receptor modified T-cells, which currently are producing some very exciting results in patients with relapsed diffuse large B-cell lymphoma. And we still need to be a little bit cautious in interpreting some of the emerging data because at the moment the follow-up data is really very sort of uh, immature. So we need longer-term follow-up data to really be sure about how effective these agents are. But I anticipate that over the coming uh, few years we will see a real change in the way that we manage patients in the salvage setting and hopefully we will be achieving a cure for a much larger percentage of these patients.